Daughters, I need to talk to you about something. This is a really big deal. Did you buy us presents? This is even better than presents. Goody, goody. Father, your love is enough for me. Give me that map there, fool. That's my name. Girls, I made a decision. Now that we, and by we, I mean me, have divided in three our kingdom. Well, sir, divided kingdom may cause chaos. People could die. Well, this is a tragedy. You worry too much, Gloucester. I'm giving it to my daughter so that her husbands can be rich and powerful, like me. Wait, Wait what? what? This is olden times. I mean, everything we own belongs to our husbands. Olden times stink. True. So tell your dad how much you love him. Go on, Earl. Our eldest boy will speak first. Sir, I love you more than words can say. More than outer space, puppies, and cotton candy. Holy moly, surely he won't be fooled by that. Love and be silent. Thanks, sweetie. I'm giving you this big chunk of the kingdom here. Yes! Regan, what says our second daughter, our dearest Regan? Speak. What she said, Daddy, times a thousand. What? I love my father more than either of them, but I can't express it in words. My love's more richer than my tongue. Well, Regan, you get this big hunk of the kingdom here. Cordelia, what can you tell me to get this giant piece of the kingdom as your own? Speak. Nothing, my, nothing, my lord. Nothing? Nothing. Come on now, nothing will come of nothing. Father, I will not insult you by telling you my love is like as big as a whale. Fine. I'll split the share between your sisters. Yes! Yes! Whoa, let's just all calm down a minute. You don't want to mess with me right now, mister. You know she was my favorite. What? And she can't even tell me she loves me more than a whale? Nope, now I'm mad. Sir, you're acting... Insane. That's it. Out of my sight. Fine. I'm going. Further well, King. Fool. Go tell Cordelia's boyfriends that I just took away all of her inheritance. See if they still want to marry her now. Well, isn't this exciting? I wonder what will happen. Sorry, Cord. The Duke of Burgundy said he was only into you because of your money. Ouch. How about the King of France? Uh, oh. He thinks you're the best character in this planet. Hacker thinks you're moving to France. Cordelia, I'm gonna pretend you were ever born. Father, I will always love you. Whatever. Sisters, I don't want to sound harsh, but I know you're a couple of selfish liars. Are not. Sisters, please take care of Dad. You're, you're not, not the, the boss, boss of us. Oh, brother. Regan, Daddy's gonna live with you. Maybe he should go live with you. Rock, paper, scissors? Wait, Cordelia was his favorite. And he just threw her out of the house. What if he suddenly decides he doesn't like us? We must do something evil, selfish, and wrong. Like him out. Agreed. <laughs> oh, look, it's Edmund. He's all jealous of his older half brother, Edgar. It's not fair. When father dies, Edgar will inherit everything. Nobody loves me. Time to take matters into my own hands. Edmund, my dear son, who are you talking to? It's called a soliloquy, father. A soliloquy what? Whatever. What's in that important looking letter? If you insist on reading it, here. It's from Edgar. If you help me kill father, I'll give you half the inheritance. Let's talk. Signed, Edgar. Conspiracy. Are you sure this is Edgar's writing? Oh, yes, totally. Cordelia Banish for being honest, and now my own dear son turns against me? What a day. Well, that was easy. What is he? Blind? Remember that comment, by the way. It's a sign of what's to come. I don't know, Brother Edmund. Who are you talking to? I'm doing a soliloquy. Hey, Edgar, father's really unhappy with you. What? Some villain has done me wrong. Uh, yeah. Some villain. Uh, go ahead at my house. He's super mad. Yikes. <laughs> A credulous father, and a brother noble, one who schoolers honesty. My practices right easy. Who are you talking to? Soliloquy! Jeez. Fool. That's my name. I'm sad. Please entertain me. Uh, okay, um, what do you get when you cross the key with a balloon? I don't know what. Pa, you're an annoying old man, and I'm sick and tired of you and your people living in my house. Mm -hmm. That's a terrible thing to say. How sharper than a serpent's tooth is to have a thankless child? I'll go live with your sister. Regan. You shouldn't have done that, Bob. Don't be a fool. Here we are, at the Lashes Castle, father of Ed and Eddie. Oh look, here comes the Ed. Like my dagger? That's cool. Hey Edgar, 
Watch yourself. The father's coming. He's still mad. Run. I've got a great idea. Father, father, help. Admin, what's going on? Edgar was here and he attacked me with the sword. Look, sir, I bleed. I'll find him. Also, I'm making my soul air. Part one of Evil Planet. Check. Edgar, what's happening? I'm being chased. I have to disguise myself and to hide. I am now poor Tom, the lunatic beggar. Oh, do, 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 do. Where are my daughters in the book? Hail to your grace. Don't you hail grace me. You've been trying to ditch me. Ooh, Daddy's mad. So scared. You unnatural hags. I'd rather live with wild animals than with such ungrateful creatures. There's a terrible storm coming. Let's go inside. We should all have a king after the storm. Whatever. Sorry, no room for you. But it's my house. Where have you gone? My king. Blow, winds, and crack your cheeks. Rage. Storm, singe my white head. Oh, Nuncle, let's go back and ask your daughters to let us in. Spit, fire, spout rain. This storm is not as horrible as my daughter's. Here's a hovel. Let's ask if we can take shelter. Hello? Get away. I'm all crazy. My king, there you are. You must come to safety. Hey, Nani Nani. Liver, take him in. Trouble him not. His wits are gone, and apparently yours are too. Over to plot. His daughter's seek his death. You must take the king to Dover. Why? Where's Dover? Dover's in France. That's where Cordelia, the king's non evil daughter, where we about can see one lives. Let's go. Five, five, five. I smell the blood of a British man. You must find Gloucester. Yes, hang him instantly. Pluck out his eyes. Wow, I think he might be even meaner than me. Thank you. There he is! It's my house! How now? Where's the king? I helped him escape. Oh, filthy traitor. I am not. I serve my king, and I will not let his cruel daughters mistreat him anymore. I'll make sure of that. Hey, where's my dear son Edmund? Fuck, well, he's the one that comes to you for a traitor. I've been tricked. I've been tricked. Forgive me, Edgar. No problem, Dad. Wow, I told you to get crazier. Audience, is that you? I'll spare you the details of what happened since you last saw me. It wasn't pretty. Let me take a bit. Tis the time's plague where madmen lead the blind. I could slay a giant. Oh no, the king has gone crazy. Uh oh, they're after me. You can't catch me. Ha 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 ha. Oh look, it's Cordelia! It's been such a long time since we've seen you. I know, like all the way back on page two. Uh, where am I? Who am I? Are you a ghost? It's me, Cordelia. Cordelia, your daughter from the first act. I've had the strangest dream, and you were there, and you were there, and you- Sir, maybe an apology is in order, you think? Guards, lock them up. But I just got here. Guards! If you want something done right, you have to do it yourself. Come on, you three. Off to the dungeon. We've made it to safety. Oh no, the French army has lost the war. Son, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna have a little death scene to exit. Okay, Father, I'm glad we made up before you died. I think I'm in a bar. Draw thy sword, you're a most toad spotted traitor. I am not. R2, now fight. No! Don't die yet! I didn't get to tell you that I really like you. Like, like, like you. Follow me. I confess. I poison Regan. I can't live with the guilt. Where's the king? Quick, run to the castle. I told the guards to kill them. Run, run, oh run. Hey, I did something good. I guess I'll die now. Ah! I guess I'll die too. She's gone forever. She's dead as earth. Oh my dear Cordelia. Three, four, five. 
Cordelia, Cordelia. Oh. That's when I act. Well, this was sure a tragedy. All this fighting has been for nothing. My heart is broken. The world is too cruel. He did not want to live any longer. And I too think I will die soon. I guess I should deliver the last line so we can all take some bows and go get ice cream. Here it goes. The way of this sad time we must obey. Speak what we feel, not what we ought to say. Ah. Thank <laughs> you.